We have all gathered in this season to be showered by God with his love. This is the reason why we are gathered at least in this season. And may this season last for you. May you begin to swim in God's love more than ever before. From now on in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, love is like a wind. You cannot see it. But you can feel it. You can feel it. Love can work for you. If only you can feel it. The love of God. God will shower you with his love from here. In the mighty name of Jesus. How prepared are you? I know we have been here since Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. A lot of things went on. People spoke to us diversely. How ready are you to live here with God's love? And to continue in God's love. Remember that the Bible says that he first loved us. 1 John chapter 4 verse 19. So we ought to love him. He first loved us. So we must love him. Remember that love is reciprocal. He is loving you. You are loving him. And one of the ways you can love God. Is to keep his commandment. You keep his commandment. John chapter 14, verse number 15. The Bible says, If you love me, keep what? My commandment. If you love me, keep my commandment. And in verse 21 there, the Bible made us to understand that he that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be shall be loved of my father and I will love him and will manifest myself through him keeping God's commandment is very paramount enough of coming to church to hear God and not do it enough you are coming to God you are not doing what he says you are deceiving yourself the bible says Enough of coming into God's presence and not doing his word. We are all witnesses to the fact that God is here. We are all witnesses to the fact that anytime we are gathered, the word is always coming. I am a witness, the first witness to the fact that daddy labors in the word. God's servant labors in the word. You had a testimony recently. A woman was talking with another woman of God. And she said, Are you attending knowledge of the truth? Ah, Pastor Mother is word Lord. All glory to God. And then we have been hearing the word again and again. One of the people that came here said that if you are in this church and you are hearing God's word like this, it, you are supposed to be a prophet by now. One of them said it. The word we hear is very, very paramount. We must keep God's commandment. You come to church, they say, don't keep malice. That is the one you are holding on to. You don't know me, I am me. What is it that you come to church with that you cannot let go because of God? Remember that we are not living here forever. There is a place we must go. And that place, the ticket to entering there is your doing the word of God. They will tell you, don't fornicate. That is the one you, you say nobody is seeing you. What of the world that created eyes? Will you not see? They say, don't allow filthy communication to come out of your mouth. You said, I can talk anyhow. What of the one that created ears? May the Lord have mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. Be transformed by the word. The word is able to transform us. But you must align yourself to the word of God to be transformed. We have come, we want to abide in God's love. We must be transformed. 
John chapter 15. John chapter, chapter 15. Verse 10. John 15 verse 10. The Bible says, If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. This love is not something to come and taste and go. We want to abide in God's love. When you abide in God's love, there's nothing God cannot do for you. I am a testimony to that. A lot of things that we cannot finish talking to your hearing here, that God does. To God alone be all the glory in Jesus' name. If God has decided to love you, anyone that hates you is in trouble. So you must do anything to abide in God's love. Do anything to abide in God's love. The word of God are not grievous. We can do it. You will come to church, they will uh, tell you, give and it shall be given unto you. You say, me, my own money, no data. May the Lord have mercy. We have been told that any income that comes into our hands, 10% of it is for God. You are not doing it. You are not paying your tithe. How will not, things not be tight for you? Hear the word of God and do it. That is how to keep God's love. You, can, you, you heard it now. He says, if you want to abide in God's love, keep his commandments. Keep his commandments. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13, the Bible made us to understand that the whole duty of man is to do what? To fear God and to keep his commandments. That is the reason why you are here. That is your duty here on earth. You must do it. Keep God's commandment. It will help you. That thing you know God does not like that you have been doing, this is the time to drop it. Is it bitterness? Is it unforgiveness? We had a lot of words. Look at how that is dishing out words. And even bishops are coming here to say, ah, this thing I had, I'm writing it. You had the one the man said there yesterday, bishop. That this word you gave, I can divide it into two to preach it somewhere. Is that not what he said? You people that were here. You will hear it and you put it into the pocket and you go. And even some people that are supposed to hear that word of marriage yesterday, they were not here. They were not here. Ten points were given to us for us to be able to boost our marriages. They were not here. So if you don't hear this word, how do you do it? How do you do it? Keep God's commandments. I pray that God will give help to us in Jesus' name. We have seen evidences again and again that God resides here. Even if you cannot see it, for us to see something, on Thursday we were here praying in the morning. How many of you were here? What did we see in this hall? A dove. A live dove. It will move from the, how it came in. We don't know. But we were praying. Serious prayers. He, the, 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 it entered, came to the altar, turned, came again to the altar, turned again, came again to the altar, three times. That's it. That is his presence. That is the show of his presence. And after that happened, rain started falling. And it did not even rain for a long time. That is his presence. What evidence do you need again? Whatever you know does not please God. Please don't do it. He has been laboring over, over, over how many years? Speaking the word of life to us. May that life be in you indeed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Is it quarreling, keeping malice? Strong heartedness. This is what they said they should do. You, you want to do it another way. Keep God's commandment if you want to abide in his love. If not for God's love, I shouldn't have been where I am today. If not for God's love, Daddy and I wouldn't have been where we are today. You heard of what happened just uh, the last three days. They came to us, they wanted to change the flex, and then people went there to plant sham. Here, this signboard here. Planted sham, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six. Planted for what now? 
But God's love protected us. God's love kept us. What is sham compared to God's love? What is sham compared to God's love? We have seen it. We have burnt it. Those people are burning already. In the name of Jesus. They are burning already. No peace with the wicked. Like I told my children when they were saying, Mommy, I, I, I said, if we are using sham here, may that sham work here. But if this man is laboring in the world, it will not work. God's love for us is mighty. A lot of things we see that we cannot finish saying. But to the glory of God, he is moving here. Amen. So join the train and do what is proper. Join the train and do what is proper. You, you are in a unit. You, 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 you are making yourself a troublemaker. It's wrong. That is not how to do it. You want to be known and what you want to be known with is trouble. Don't make noise. to talk anyhow. It's wrong. That is not what he's teaching us here. It's not what he's teaching us here. All the pastors here, they are laboring in the world. When you hear them, you will know they are the sons of daddy. They are talking, you will not hear. That will not be your portion again in Jesus' name. The Bible says, if you hear the word and you refuse to do it, you are the one deceiving yourself. May you not deceive yourselves. In the mighty name of Jesus. The word will be coming again very soon. Open your hearts to God. It may even be that that disobedience is the one keeping you on that same level. Refuse disobedience. And move to another level. It is time to move to another level. It is time. God's love will take you to the next level. In this season, I say God's love is taking you to another level. In the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord help us. In Jesus' name. Please be on your feet and begin to say, Father, help me to keep your commandments. Help me to dislike what you dislike. Help me to do your will, O oh God. Deliver me from doing the contrary. In the mighty name of Jesus. Deliver me, O oh God, from doing the contrary. I have been hearing your word. Help me to be a keeper of your word. Help me to be a doer of your word. In the mighty name of Jesus. Help me, O oh God. Deliver me from unforgiveness. Deliver me from adultery. Deliver me from fornication. Lord, deliver me from bitterness. Deliver me from malice. Help me to live a ventilated life. Help my heart to be ventilated. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, give me help. I don't want to keep hearing the word and remain the same. I don't want to remain the same. Lord, I ask for your help. Please give me help. In the mighty name of Jesus. Help me to always do what I hear from your word. Help me, oh God, not to do the contrary. Help me, oh God, not to disobey you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, give me your help. Give me your help. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. The Bible says, eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. It has not even entered into the heart of men. What God has prepared for those that love him. You love him, many things will start happening for you from now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Many things will begin to happen for you from now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus.